I would say some of the hardest lessons I've learned um, involves when I invest my own money into projects before doing proper customer discovery. Share a story with us on that. So when I came to college, uh, the first thing I wanted to start was a women's fitness apparel company. And I wanted to deliver high quality goods at a more balanced, low cost price compared to companies like Nike or Lululemon. So I invested over $2,000 into apparel, uh, hiring a seamstress, different designers. Long story short, I didn't do my customer discovery on the material itself yeah. to see if it would be accepted by the market. It turned out to not be uh, durable and stretchy enough uh, for the, uh, the products I wanted to create. So instantly, you know, that was $2,000 down the drain, which is really, really hard being a college student. Like that's... Yeah, you feel I, that. That's a yeah. lot of top That's knowledge. like I might not eat for like a week <laughs> at it's least. A trip to Thailand. <laughs> that's a trip to Thailand, exactly. But, you know, in hindsight, I'm happy it happened to me because of what I've learned through customer discovery. I know people who have made this mistake with $40,000 or more. Right. So I'm blessed I was only two grand. So what are the lessons you took out of that specifically that you did in your next venture? Um, so the next venture, uh, I did web for a while. And the nice thing about doing web development or online marketing in general, it's uh, generally low cost and low barriers to entry. So I kind of transitioned from this uh, venture that needs a lot of capital to develop to a, something that's uh, less barriers of entry, low cost. Right. So that way it was less risk on my part. You get more traction, start making some cash. Yeah, so the idea was to create something that could generate revenue uh, to funnel into other ideas that I had. So how did, what were the specific things you did different at customer discovery or at the beginning? Mm -hmm. It was definitely uh, trying to identify like a specific niche for me to work in within web. So initially I thought that I was going to go down the you know, real estate agent type of route. So you know, I was talking to a lot of real estate agents trying to figure out what they are looking for in their online marketing and try to build a platform around that. Um, I ended up doing a lot of pivots along the way, going from real estate agents to apartment complexes to ultimately just creating um, my own online marketing tools, such as my content hub. I started sourcing uh, content writers, the best content writers in Orlando, and uh, building a platform for them to be able to meet customers and create content for them. Because through your conversations, you identified that content was the real issue? Exactly. There's so many developers, but there's limited supply of really good, high-quality content producers. 